Hi everybody, Paul Burton from PB Automotive. We don't just work on cars, we also work on boats. This is a 1986 270 C Ray Sun Dancer. We're going to be putting in a Simrod Go 12 Fish Fighter on this boat. It should be a nice upgrade. Why don't you follow with me? See what we have to do. Today we're going to be installing the Simrad Go 12. Which is one of the newer ones they have out. We put it in a 1986 Sea Ray 27 footer along with an autopilot. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we got to do is put this transducer together. So you have this mounting plate. It's six screws. started. We'll speed this up for you a little bit so you don't get too bored. Okay, one thing we want to do before we uh, go any further is we're going to measure the size hole that we need to have to come through the transom. Make sure we're zeroed out here. It's like 87.50 so we need a 7 8 hole okay one nice thing about this boat it's a C-Ray 27 0 27 footer is it has a mounting pad here for the transom mount of your transducer I want to mount it right in here someplace, I believe. That's where the old one was. Let's do a mock up and take a look and see what it looks like. So we'll stick these these bolts together in here and see what it looks like. And that's where the old one was. <coughs> and that actually looks pretty good. So I believe that's where we're going to mount this one at. Set this transducer aside. And we're going to mount him right there. Make sure she's level.
Okay. Now, even though we have backer play here, we're still gonna put some silicone in those holes. Screw it on, then we'll drill the other hole. Make sure she's good and level. Let's get a level and check. Check it. And we're off just a touch. Now what I did is I checked the I'm comparing this to the back of the boat. to make sure she wants to move a little bit. All right. Now we got to drill one hole and put that screw in. Be right back. All right, we're back. We'll drill one hole right here. Silicone in there. Of course, with this virus going on, well, Michigan will not allow boating, which just makes no sense to me at all. I mean, if you gotta stay away from people. Be nice to take my son and go out on the water and do some uh, do some fishing. But of course, a great governor won't let you. Can't even plant flowers. It's ridiculous. <laughs> All right, that looks pretty good. So this spot right here. Is where the transducer line is going to come in. So we got to get that out and make sure that we got a hole big enough for the plug to go through. If 
they used the 4200 to seal that, it shouldn't be too bad, but if they use the 5200, it's going to be hard to get it out of there. The silicone, that is. It feels pretty good and stuck. Get a knife and cut it. Be right back. All right, let's see if we can get this out of here. Yeah, there's a gob in there. You see this right here is a silicone. Which is how you do it. It's way above the water line, but that's a pretty good size hole. Here's the plug. Let's see if it'll go through there. No, it's just not quite big enough. It's close. Of course, you can't take these apart. Yeah, it's real close. We'll be right back. Okay, we've got our cable through. We got her tied off. We got this silicone set up in there. So no water can get through there. Tighten her up. Then comes the hard part. Running that wire all the way to the front. Okay. We're done back here. See you in a bit. Okay, we gotta use some stainless steel screws to hold her down. We don't want her to rust. That would make a mess. So we're gonna mount this gimbal right here with some number eight stainless steel screws. cheat a little bit. Use my gun here. I'm going to put three in it. One, two, 
one in the back back here. And that should do it. Put our gimbal together. And then we can mount our fish finder. Our fish finder is a Simrad. Thing is huge. What we were thinking, or what he was thinking, customer. Something like that. And he can spin it around and do whatever he wants to do. There we go. It's a beautiful day here today. It's Sunday. We haven't had many uh, nice warm days in Michigan. We have to hit accept. I'm going to register it later. That's our charts. There's home. It has chart, echo, side scan, down scan, radar, navigation, instruments, and time plot. So it's a pretty slick outfit. Hope you can uh, see that okay with all the sunshine today. But that's basically it. We uh, I think we got it mounted in a nice place. It's still kind of it's big sitting out there, but uh, he can move it around, do whatever he wants to do with it. If you like boats like me. I love doing this kind of stuff. I'm a big boater. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like the channel, please subscribe. You have a great day. We'll talk to you later.